today we're talking post. Not editing, not quite editing, but kind of this weird in-between funky stage where I come back from shooting documentary work in Africa to figuring out what my actual story is going to be because things changed while I was in Africa. So here we go. Hey everyone, it's Simon and I'm back. It's been a while since I've made some YouTube content, but I'm trying to change that. Uh, it's been a bit of a crazy transition going from having my office to now being back in home office and then some other things going on in my personal life. So we're back. I'm excited. I can't wait to make more content for you guys. Uh, if there's anything specific you guys want to know, just let me know. Uh, but I'm going to dig right into it. So today we're going to talk post of Burkina. So this video is going to be a little bit of preface and kind of what my initial steps were uh, getting into post. So Burkina, anytime I'm working overseas, I have a general idea of what I'm trying to accomplish. What are the programs that we're trying to fundraise for? What are the things they're trying to expand? What kind of programs? Those kinds of things. Uh, I work with orgs ahead of time to get an idea of what our end goal is for the product because it's pointless for me to go if they don't have an end goal for what we're creating. Uh, that being said, I had the general gist, but whenever I go overseas, things are never what we expect. Um, we have a general idea of what's going to happen, but in Burkina, they've got a saying called Wawa, which is West Africa wins again. Basically, you can have the best laid plans, but things are going to happen when you get there that change it the minute that you land. So our goal for this project was really to highlight this manual pump irrigation system, and that's really been the end goal. Um, I was there documenting the installation of eight of these. There was already one that had been installed, um, so we were able to see a little bit of what it looked like after a year after installation plus we were there documenting the actual installation of a bunch of these with some villages that actually had some crops already growing which was pretty awesome um so while we were there timeline shifted and so we didn't kind of get some of the interview bits that i was hoping to get that kind of stuff so that changed how i had to approach the video um, that was a big one. And then at the same time, our timeline for trying to get these done compacted because the people that were in charge of the project decided we had to have all eight installed before we left. And so that didn't leave us as much time for capturing some of the ancillary or the like extra content that we were hoping to around what was being installed we really just went boom 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 installing these irrigation systems it was awesome to get them all installed but it did sacrifice some on the media front so there are certain things that i was hoping to get that we didn't get uh certain b-roll certain interviews those kinds of things like i mentioned um so when i got home i had to sit and sift through everything i had and really get a good idea of what i was working with um that takes some time just getting a grasp of like, all right, here's the actual content that we got. How can I use this to build the story? Uh, so really I'm going back to square one or kind of square one and a half, I should say. Um, so what I ended up having to do was look at what I had, look at what the end goal is, and then develop from there. So I'm looking at things like, what content do we have visually? What kind of uh, people do we have in the story? What, uh, what is the end goal that we have to achieve to help the org grow or do their programming better? So all of that had to come into consideration when I was looking at creating this video. Uh, so what I did was I sat down and I brainstormed off of looking through the content and then I pretty much just sit there with a whiteboard. Nothing crazy, nothing absurd. Just sit there with a whiteboard and, you know, you just kind of go with it. Um, and that's really been my best workflow. 
Uh, sometimes when I have other people involved in different steps of the brainstorming, I'll do things a little different, but that's my general gist. Uh, once I did that, I wrote a rough script. And then once I write the rough script, I will put it into a audio recorder like this guy. Um, this, this is the Zoom F1. And I will just listen to it. And then I just kind of sit there and listen and then tweak the script off of what the voiceover sounds like just to make sure things are worded correctly and positively. Um, one of the things I hate is videos that just play the like sad, the sad story card. Sorry, I don't sob. Um, I don't know where that was going, but I don't like playing like the like ASPCA kind of things where it's like the, you know, like the dog like chained up. Like I don't want to like guilt people. I want to show people realistically what the environment's like, but I also want people to understand that a lot of the Africans that I know are some of the happiest people that I know and that they are very positive even in the situation that they're in. So I really try to make sure I'm keeping a positive outlook on the content that I'm creating. Uh, once we get a decent script that I've, I'm comfortable with, I actually sit down and I listen to it again, but then I put it in my video editing software and I'm, I'm a Final Cut guy, um, but any given software works. But then what I do is I'll sit with a piece of paper and I will like jot notes with the timeline of what types of visuals I need to grab for different parts of the video. And then that way it makes it faster for me when I actually go down to edit. Um, this is huge for me because it allows me to just be more focused instead of scattered because I, when I'm shooting and when I'm filing my stuff, what I do is I take notes in my file structure of what we shot on what day. Um, and I've been doing this since I started my company in 2013. So even my old content, like I'm gonna have to go back and get some stuff from 2013 and 2014. Um, I can go back and easily find what footage I need to be able to pull off this video because I'm gonna have to grab some things from past projects that will incorporate into this video in some way, shape or form. Uh, how well they'll match up, I'm not 100%, but that's a different, story for a different video. Um, so that's really what I got for today. Um, I just wanted to kind of talk through that a little bit. Feel free to leave some questions in the comments, ask questions. How do you guys do start your post on a documentary style project? Um, what kind of things do you guys have issues with that you work through, that kind of stuff? Love to hear from you. I love learning from other people because you never stop learning. So if you've got any neat tips, tricks, or how to like, be efficient in post, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next time.